Hi, you're here because you need to conditionally delete rows in an Excel table and you don't want to go to be basic coding to do it. Um, being faced with a situation a few months ago, um, I came up with a way to use the remove duplicates feature to do this. So there's no coding involved, just one simple little formula and um, it works great. So without further ado, here we go. So the idea here is first, uh, first thing we need to do is create a column that has a unique value for every one of these records. And we're going to use that to determine whether there's a duplicate or not. So we're going to start with the column D here and we're going to name it uh, unique. If you put your cell then, or your um, cursor then in cell D2, and type the number one, and then we're gonna fill down, we're gonna use the, the fill feature to fill down and give everybody a duplicate value there. So I'm gonna hover over that lower left-hand corner, lower right-hand corner, sorry about that, and get that skinny plus sign. I'm gonna hold my control key, click my mouse, drag down, and fill to the bottom, and that gives everyone a unique number. The next step is to put a formula in the next column that's going to look into the C column and ask, does this say complete or not? If it says complete, it's going to put the word complete in the E column. If it does not say complete, it is going to put the unique value in that column. And that's how we're going to delete those duplicates. So here we go. We start with equal if. Once we get the if there, we hit the tab key that's going to put it right up there in our formula bar. And then we're going to hit the FX key. This gives us what I like to call a little cheat sheet. Helps us to get the syntax right. The logical test in the cell that we're in, we're in row two, so we're going to do it for row two and then fill it down in a minute. The logical test is does C2 equal complete? Now make sure that you put quotes around that complete. If the value is true, we want it to put complete, the word complete, in that cell. Again, make sure it's in quotes. If the value is false, as it is in this case because our C2 cell says preliminary, so if the value is false, we want it to fill in the value from D2, which in this case shows up to be 1. Okay, one more time, does that make sense? If this says anything beside complete, it's going to fill in D2. If it says complete, it's going to fill in complete. So we hit OK. And then we go ahead with our skinny plus sign again. You don't need to hold the control key down this time, and we're just going to drag it down. And voila, you can see complete shows up anytime complete is in the C column, and a unique number shows up anytime complete is not in that column. Now we can simply go to the remove duplicates area. Oops, I have something selected. That's why it's doing this. You don't want it to do that. So you're going to hit cancel. You just want your cursor somewhere in the table. We don't want anything highlighted. And remember, no blank rows, no blank columns, because things like that Excel is looking for stop at blanks. Not blank single cells, but the entire column or the entire row being blank is going to mess you up. So make sure you don't have any of those. Okay, cursor somewhere in the spreadsheet, you're going to click on remove duplicates. Make sure the my data has headers is checked. And we're going to uncheck everything except that last column called formula. That's the only place we want it to look. Everything is unique except where the word complete shows up. Right? And we just wanted to remove the duplicates. So in this case, when I hit OK, you're going to see that it's going to remove 3. Why doesn't it remove 4? 
It doesn't remove four because the function here is remove duplicates. It leaves one, the very first occurrence there. So the only caveat on this is you do have to remove the first one yourself. Okay, so let's go ahead and run it. We hit OK. Right now, notice I have 35 rows. I hit OK. Three duplicate values were found and removed. 31 remain. The rows are entirely gone. And all I have to do is go back up to my first occurrence, highlight, right click, delete. And I have removed all occurrences of complete. Now imagine if that was thousands, how much time that would have saved me. The final step then is to just take those two columns that we used and delete them because we don't need them anymore and your data is clean. So I hope this is helpful to you. I think this is a, a should be a great time saver and um, good luck. Give it a try.